Do your professors limit the use of AI in their courses? At UCSB, you're responsible for knowing each instructor's policies and for the accuracy of any information you use. Your instructor may say it's okay to use AI to help you find resources. But is fake information or so-called hallucinations a real problem? Ongoing research shows that it's very common for AI tools to provide made-up results to your prompts. In fact, with some free tools, the results may be completely made up more than half the time. It's always critical to fact-check your sources, and that's very true with Gen AI. One simple way to verify information is to use a three-step fact-checking technique called lateral reading, where we leave, search, and verify. Say I've used AI to learn more about the pioneering researchers in the field of quantum computing. From my results, I've pulled out the term quantum computing and the name of a key figure in the field, Richard Feynman. The first step is for me to copy relevant terms or names and leave. Leave the AI tool and open a new tab. Next, I'll search. I could use a regular search engine, but tools like UC Library Search or Google Scholar are your best bet for academic research. For example, say ChatGPT claims this expert's ideas laid the foundations for quantum computing. Now I'm using these terms to look for books and articles in UC Library Search. If specific resources were mentioned in my results, I'd look those up too. Finally, verify. Find a relevant resource and look for an abstract, introduction, or summary section. Quickly scan the information there. Does it confirm the AI results? Do the resources generated by AI actually exist? Be a skeptical researcher. Want to learn more about academic research and generative AI? Check out our AI guide at guides.library.ucsb.edu forward slash AI.